Hi guys, today we're going to talk about Meghan Markle's new podcast, which is called To Be or Not To Be, with Melody Hobson, Victoria Jackson, and Robin Thede, very accomplished women who have uh, made it in their own right. And they talk about how asserting themselves made them being given the label of being a bee or being difficult. So we're talking about that now. The B word has been used against women to undermine their achievement, to undermine their assertiveness, undermine them in general. And it has been used to shut women up, especially black women. They talk about the fact that when you know what you want and you go for it and you're very assertive and you're very firm in your demands and you're very strong, strong-willed, people take it as a threat, especially when you are a person of color. There's that perception that black women is automatically mean. So when people that are not of color talk to black women, that negative perception that they have about black women become an issue. The sense that they are very difficult, they are very bitchy, they are this and that. The same word would never be used towards a man, be it black or white. When you're a woman, black, white, whatever. When you know what you want, you go for it, and you're very strong-willed, you'll be categorized as being a bee, as being difficult. You don't agree with people, and you say it in a straightforward way, which somehow is perceived as an attack. One of the ladies, I think that it was Melody Upson, said that she had to lower her voice so that she'd not perceived as a aggressive. I was very moved by this podcast, really, because Megan Markle, he touches a lot of subjects, especially sexual assault, terminal illnesses, things that we usually don't talk about and we don't want to talk about because it's so personal. But here it's talked about openly. At one point, I was holding onto my chair, especially one Victoria Jackson, who is one of the most talented, accomplished businesswomen in America, talked about a traumatic experience, a traumatic event in her life. And to be honest, I cried. I had to listen to the podcast a second time because we're given so much information that it takes time to decipher it and to understand what we're being taught. I needed to to listen to it a second time. We felt like in the privacy of these women who are talking about their lives, talking about how they went from little to a lot, how they were raised to achieve what they achieved, how they were set on the path to greatness. So there's a lot in there. I don't want to talk about it here. Like I said, I'm not reviewing it. I'm just giving you my opinion on that. And I really, really loved it. It was like the best of Megan. It's getting better and better. I keep repeating myself every day on how good it is, how informative it is. Sometimes it's heartbreaking to listen to all the traumas that some of the ladies that we've been listening so far have gone through. And it's getting deeper each time. It talks about subjects that are so personal. It doesn't put you off, right? But it makes you think. It makes you be sympathetic, compassionate. Megan Markle is a wonderful host. She's a wonderful interviewer. So yeah, I think it was a very deep and personal conversation between three friends, which is what I liked. And the voice of Victoria Jackson is so soothing, just like Megan Markle. I was listening to her and it was like I was listening to poetry because she spoke so softly and she explained things perfectly. That's all I could say about this. Please go and listen to it and come back and tell me what you thought about it. Let me know what you think. Hope you like the video. Feel free to click on like if it's the case. Subscribe for more videos and click on the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. Thank you.